Chapter 15 The chief priests delivered Jesus Matthew 27,1-2, Luke 23,1-5 and John 18,28-32, Mark 15 verse 1, KJV, and straightway in the morning the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Jesus, and carried him away, and delivered him to Pilate. Pilate questions Jesus. Mark 15 verse 2, KJV, and Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answering said unto him, Thou sayest it. Thou sayest it, it means you said it. Matthew 26 verse 25 KJV, Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. Mark 15 verses 3 to 5, KJV, and the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answerest thou nothing? Behold how many things they witness against thee. But Jesus yet answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. Isaiah 53 verse 7, he was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. Pilate releases Barabbas Matthew 27,15-23, Luke 23,18-25 and John 18,38-40. Mark 15 verses 6-10, KJV, Now at that feast he released unto them one prisoner, whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. That feast, Passover, Barabbas, the son of Abba, or the son of the father, the king of the Jews, Matthew 2 verse 2 KJV, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Mark 15 verses 11 to 12, KJV, But the chief priests moved the people, that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. And Pilate answered and said again unto them, What will ye then that I shall do unto him whom ye call the king of the Jews? John 19 verse 15, But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Mark 15 verses 13 to 15, KJV, And they cried out again, Crucify him. Then Pilate said unto them, Why, what evil hath he done? And they cried out the more exceedingly, crucify him. And so, Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them and delivered Jesus, when he had scourged him, to be crucified. Isaiah 52 verse 14 KJV As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. No lot was cast on this day for Barabbas, or Jesus. The decision of the people was manipulated and controlled by the chief priests who wanted to rid themselves of any competition. Leviticus 16 verses 8 to 26. When he had scourged him, Jesus was whipped with a cat of nine tails whip, forty times save one. Jesus suffered for our sins on the cross, not in hell. Jesus is mocked Matthew 27 colon 27. Mark 15 verses 16 to 21, KJV, and the soldiers led him away into the hall, called Praetorium, and they called together the whole band. And they clothed him with purple, and plaited a crown of thorns, and put it about his head, and began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews. And they smote him on the head with a reed, and did spit upon him, and bowing their knees worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him, and put his own clothes on him, and led him out to crucify him. And they compel one Simon a Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. Simon a Cyrenian, from Cyrene, a coastal city between Tripoli and Alexandria. 
Another Rufus is mentioned by the Apostle Paul in Romans 16 verse 13 as Paul's brother. Romans 16 verse 13 KJV Salute Rufus chosen in the Lord and his mother and mine. Mark 15 verse 22 KJV And they bring him unto the place Golgotha, which is, being interpreted, the place of a skull. Golgotha was the Hebrew name for it meaning the place of the skull. Luke identifies the place by its Greek name cranium, where we get the word Calvary from. Most modern Bibles erringly remove the word Calvary from the book of Luke 23 verse 33, when it belongs there. Luke 23 verse 33 KJV And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Jesus is crucified Matthew 27 colon 35 dash 37, Luke 23 colon 32 dash 43, and John 19 colon 16 24, Mark 15 verses 23 to 25, KJV, and they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, what every man should take. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. Psalm 22 verses 16 to 18 KJV For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. Casting lots, gambling. Jonah 1 verse 7 KJV And they said every one to his fellow, Come, and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So, they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. This was not the same thing as when the apostles gave their lots in Acts 1 verse 26. They were giving their choice for Judas' replacement, not casting stones on the ground in a game of chance. It was the third hour, 9 a.m. Mark 15 verses 26 to 27, KJV, and the superscription of his accusation was written over, the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two thieves, the one on his right hand, and the other on his left. The king of the Jews, this was for Herod to show the emperor how he dealt with threats to Roman rule. Mark 15 verse 28, KJV, and the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, and he was numbered with the transgressors. Isaiah 53 verse 12 KJV Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Mark 15 verses 29 to 32 KJV And they that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads, and saying, Ah, thou that destroyest the temple, and buildest it in three days, save thyself, and come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking said among themselves with the scribes, He saved others, himself he cannot save. Let Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reviled him. Jesus dies Matthew 27 colon 45 dash 56, Luke 23 colon 44 dash 49 and John 19 colon 28 dash 30. Mark 15 verse 33, KJV, and when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. The sixth hour, 12 noon. The ninth hour, 3 p.m. Mark 15 verse 34, KJV, and at the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Aloy, Aloy, Lama Sabachthani? Which is, being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Aloy, in Hebrew, El means God, and a long I sound at the end of any word made it possessive, meaning mine. Jesus was saying, My God. Mark 15 verses 35 to 36, KJV, and some of them that stood by, when they heard it, said, Behold, he calleth Elias. And one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave him to drink, saying, Let alone, let us see whether Elias will come to take him down. Psalm 69 verse 21 KJV 
They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us see whether Elias will come to take him down. After hearing Jesus yell, Aloy twice, some errantly thought he was calling for Elias, Elijah. Mark 15 verse 37, KJV, And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. Gave up the ghost, died. Genesis 25 verse 8 KJV Then Abraham gave up the ghost, and died in a good old age, an old man, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Mark 15 verse 38 KJV And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. Hebrews 10 verse 20 KJV By a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. Mark 15 verses 39 to 41, KJV, And when the centurion, which stood over against him, saw that he so cried out, and gave up the ghost, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the Less and of Hoseas, and Salome, who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him, and ministered unto him Winky Face and many other women which came up with him unto Jerusalem. The Son of God is the second person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Colossians 2 verse 9 and 1 John 5 verse 7. Mary Magdalene, out of whom Jesus cast seven devils. Mark 16 verse 9. Mary the mother of James the Less and Hoseas, and Salome, 16 colon 1 also. Joseph went to Pilate Matthew 27 colon 57 dash 61, Luke 23 colon 50 dash 56 and John 20 colon 38 dash 42. Mark 15 verse 42, KJV, And now when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath. The preparation, this is the preparation day which occurred the day before the Sabbath, to get ready for the Sabbath. Exodus 16 verse 5 KJV And it shall come to pass, that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. Mark 15 verses 43 to 47 KJV Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of God, came, and went in boldly unto Pilate, and craved the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead, and calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen, and took him down, and wrapped him in the linen, and laid him in a sepulcher which was hewn out of a rock, and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulcher. And Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Hoseas beheld where he was laid. A day according to the Bible begins at sunset the evening before, so if you are thinking like a Western Gentile, you will get it wrong. Secondly, if you disregard what constitutes a Sabbath day in Israel, you will get it wrong. If you don't pay attention to the additional Sabbath days associated with the feast's days, then you will get it wrong. Lastly, you cannot get three days and three nights, no matter how hard you try, between Friday and Sunday. There was also an additional Sabbath day here called an high day. There is a big lie being parroted by thousands of preachers today that any part of a day constitutes a day in Jewish customs. That is a lie straight from Satan himself. John 19 verse 31 The Jews therefore, because it was the preparation, that the bodies should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was an high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. An high day, an extra Sabbath day during a feast day. Saturday is the Sabbath, but a high day could occur in the middle of the week, the day before, or after the weekly Sabbath, and it disproves the teaching that Jesus was crucified on a Friday. Chapter 16 The first day of the week Matthew 28 colon 1, Luke 24 colon 1, and John 20 colon 1 dash 10. Mark 16 verses 1 to 2, KJV, And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and Salome, had bought sweet spices, that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. When the Sabbath was passed, 
the week started all over again as it was the last day of the week. It was the day of rest given to the children of Israel at Mount Sinai when they came out of Egypt. Exodus 16 verse 26 KJV Six days ye shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. Nehemiah 9 verses 13 to 14 KJV Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai, and spakest with them from heaven, and gavest them right judgments, and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and madest known unto them thy holy Sabbath, and commandest them precepts, statutes, and laws, by the hand of Moses thy servant. Mary Magdalene, out of whom Jesus cast seven devils. Mark 16 verse 9. Mary the mother of James, the less, and Salome, 15 40-41 above. The first day of the week, in the Bible a day begins in the evening the night before. Saturday evening is biblically Sunday evening, because the evening begins the day. So, Sunday already had 12 hours come and go by the time the women arrived at the sepulchre. Matthew 12 verse 40 for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whales. Belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Go backwards from Sunday one day, and you arrive at Saturday, go back two days and you arrive at Friday, but go three days and you come to Thursday. The evening of Thursday is our Wednesday evening. Jesus did not say he would spend two and a half days and nights in the heart of the earth, but three days and three nights. Mark 16 verses 3 to 5 KJV, and they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. The stone was rolled away, the angel of the Lord rolled back the stone from the door. This was after the earthquake also mentioned in Matthew 28 verse 2 KJV, and, behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and sat upon it. A young man, this was the angel of the Lord. Matthew 28 verses 1 to 7 KJV. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow, and for fear of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth before you into Galilee, there shall ye see him, lo, I have told you. Angels only appear as men in the Bible. Sitting on the right side, the angel was sitting as opposed to standing. A long white garment, described as shining in Luke 24 verse 4. Luke 24 verse 4 KJV. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Mark 16 verses 6 to 7 KJV. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified, he is risen, he is not here, behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, Tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee, there shall ye see him, as he said unto you. Mark 14 verse 28. Be not affrighted, the angel of the Lord calms the women as we see often in scripture when angels make appearances to men, so as not to scare them to death. Genesis 15 verse 1 KJV. After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. Revelation 1 verse 17 KJV, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Tell his disciples and Peter, Peter is singled out here because he denied Jesus three times. 
Luke 22 verses 31 to 34 KJV And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day, before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. That he goeth before you into Galilee, it would have been easier for Jesus to teach the apostles in Galilee than if they remained in Jerusalem. Mark 14 verse 28 The women would tell the disciples about what they heard from the angel of the Lord, but they did not believe their words. Mark 16 verse 8 KJV And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulcher, for they trembled and were amazed, neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. For they were afraid. This is where many Bibles end Mark's gospel. Some leave the remaining verses, but they place a note after verse 8 causing the reader to doubt God's word. Their note, these verses are not in the best manuscripts. That is the oldest trick in the book, to get you to doubt God's word, and it is found in Genesis 3 verse 1, yeah, hath God said. The problem people have with these passages is that they scare people who do not realize that these verses are not talking to them today in the dispensation of grace. The following verses are speaking to Jews 2,000 years ago who still had their kingdom hopes in sight as it was still being preached as at hand at that time. The kingdom is not at hand today, it has been postponed until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. The kingdom will be at hand again in the tribulation period. Matthew 24 verse 14 KJV And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene Matthew 28 1-10, Luke 24 1-12 and John. 20 colon 11 18 mark 16 verse 9 kjv now when jesus was risen early the first day of the week he appeared first to mary magdalene out of whom he had cast seven devils the first day of the week this is sunday the day after the sabbath which is the seventh day of the week exodus 16 verse 26 he appeared first to mary magdalene magdalene was not mary's last name she was from the town of Migdal. All people from Migdal were called Magdalenes. Just like Jesus was called a Nazarene because he was from the town of Nazareth. Migdal was also called Magdala in Matthew 15 verse 39. Out of whom he had cast seven devils. This was one of the reasons why she was there early that morning, because she loved him and never forgot his kindness. Mary is a type of Israel that needed to be redeemed from the devil. Jesus will have Satan cast out into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verse 10 KJV And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. John 12 verse 31 Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. The devils were being cast out of the house of Israel leading up to the cross, but they would come back after the apostles had swept the house of Israel and garnished it with the gospel of the kingdom. This was done in the one year that followed the cross, Acts 1-8, to where the Holy Spirit came upon believers in Israel. This additional year is found in Luke 13 verses 6-9. to Matthew 12 verses 43 to 45 When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Satan will be cast out of Israel and into the lake of fire in Revelation 20 verse 10 after the 1000 year reign of Christ on the earth. Mark 16 verses 10 to 11, KJV, and she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. 
believed not, the apostles did not believe that Jesus had risen again after what Mary had told her. They did not believe or even remember how many times Jesus told them he would rise from the dead after three days because he hid that truth from them. Luke 9 verses 44 to 45 let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. And it was hid from them, it would be revealed to them after the resurrection. Luke 24 verses 44 to 47 And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms, concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. The death, burial, and resurrection were not what was preached for those three and a half years by Jesus, John, or the twelve. They preached the gospel of the kingdom. Jesus appears on the road to Emmaus Luke 24, 13-35 and John 21. Mark 16 verses 12 to 13, KJV, after that he appeared in another form unto two of them, as they walked, and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. He appeared in another form, Luke 24 verses 13 to 31. Neither believed they them, they were not trusting in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for their salvation as you and I do today. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. Jesus appears unto the 11 Matthew 28 colon 16 dash 20, Luke 2400 hours 47 and John 21 colon 36 dash 49. Mark 16 verse 14, KJV, afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart. This means that he reviled or reproached them for their unbelief. Mark 16 verse 15, KJV, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel. The gospel was the gospel of the kingdom, as it was the only gospel that they knew. They did not preach 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. Mark 16 verse 16, KJV, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. This was the commission that Jesus gave to the apostles to preach to Israel. It was associated with the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Mark 1 verse 4 and Acts 2 verse 38. We do not preach this gospel today. We preach the gospel of the grace of God from 1 Corinthians 15 verse 14. Mark 16 verse 17, KJV, And these signs shall follow them that believe, in my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. These signs shall follow them that believe, this is because the Jews require a sign. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22 KJV, For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. In my name they shall cast out devils, this is because a priest in the kingdom could not have a devil, and Satan will be bound during the kingdom. They shall speak with new tongues, this began on the day of Pentecost. God had originally confounded the tongues to divide people into nations at Babel, and soon after that God called out Abram to become the father of the Jewish nation. Here God gives tongues to the believers so that people from all nations could hear the gospel of the kingdom and be saved. This is seen on the day of Pentecost. Acts 2, the gift of tongues, and the sign gifts that were in part ceased when that which was perfect is come. The Word of God. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 8 to 13 KJV. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, 
and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now, we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now Abedeth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Mark 16 verse 18, KJV, They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. They shall take up serpents, God will supernaturally protect them from serpents when these end-time believers flee into the wilderness in the last days. If they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them, when the water is turned to blood in those days it will not affect the believer, because of God's protection. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. These gifts will be active in the saints during the tribulation period, because they will need them to help them survive that terrible time that shall come upon the world. The Gospel That had signs following was the Gospel of the Kingdom, and it was for Israel who required signs. Matthew 4 verses 17 to 23 Some publishers discredit this portion of scripture as being unreliable, and they write notes in their Bibles saying these verses are not in the best manuscripts. They are in the best manuscripts, and they belong in all manuscripts. They do, however, need to be dispensationally considered and rightly divided. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 KJV Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Mark 16 verses 19 to 20, KJV, So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth, and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Sat on the right hand of God the position of power and honor. Acts 2 verse 33 KJV Therefore being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. The day would come one year later when Stephen would see Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Isaiah 3 verse 13 KJV The Lord standeth up to plead, and standeth to judge the people. Luke 13 verses 6 to 9 KJV, He spake also this parable, A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none, cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dung it, and if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Acts 7 verses 55 to 56 KJV, But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God, and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. They went forth and preached everywhere, the gospel of the kingdom in the early part of the book of Acts was preached to none but unto the Jews only. Acts 11 verse 19 KJV Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phenice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. Confirming the word with signs following, the gospel of the kingdom had signs following. Matthew 4 9 the next thing that was supposed to happen was the 70th week of Daniel was to occur immediately. After the Messiah is cut off, Daniel 9 verses 24 to 27. That did not happen at that time because God had another plan that had been kept secret since the world began that he was about to dispense to the world through the apostle of the Gentiles. Acts 1 through 8 is the story of Israel's additional year given unto them by God to repent and to bring forth fruits meet for repentance. Luke 13 verses 6 to 9. Acts chapters 9 through 28 are the story of their failure to do so, and God setting them aside for a season to usher in the dispensation of grace. Amen. The word Amen is used at the end of a prayer, 
or a sentence never at the beginning. It is used as the last word of all four Gospels as well. The word is the same Greek word translated verily in the King James Bible, and it is always used at the beginning of a statement and never at the end of one. The End